Hey everyone, welcome back to another Create Tutorial. Today we're going to go over the last two sections in the Gimmick tool. So we're going to go to Filter, Start Gimmick. So just as a quick disclaimer, I did not try every single one of these in the testing section. Because there's testing and there's various. So testing, from what I've gathered, are different, different um, contributions from these people here to making different gimmick filters. And some of them seem to be working just fine. Some of them look like they need some uh, other things installed. Some uh, I'm not too clear on and how to get them all to work. We're not gonna go over every single one because there's so many and that would be like a whole new series. And again, this is a testing section. So it doesn't mean that they, I am under, to my understanding, they're not gonna be perfect to begin with. Just like, hey, this is cool, I'm playing with it, does it work? Will we keep it in here? You know. There's, there's just some interesting things in here. Portrait montage. So it looks like if you have multiple inputs, inputs, oh my gosh, multiple layers, you can make another montage out of it. We have this, which is pretty cool. It looks like it's isolating different color channels. Between the three, you have your green, red, and blue, which I think is neat. Corvo had a Corvo painting, so you can change the different settings to get a really interesting look here. I actually liked this color. It's like a nice texture. There's just a ton of different stuff here. Not everything. Oh, I think his were the ones that were not working for me. That's interesting. And arithmetic, arithmetical difference of a morphological operation of size and size two. If you know, I don't know what that means <laughs> coding wise, but it does have a really interesting look in the outline here or the edges of the ornament. And not all of these have descriptors of what they all do, which and again, they're testing things out. So the person doing the code, you know, is working on it. This one's from 2013. So maybe this one just never made the cut. Oh, this is really cool. This looks like uh, raindrops. I think we have something similar in one of the other categories here. I don't know how similar, but this looks pretty neat. So under various, if you go to update information, it takes you to the gimmick download page directly. So here is the gimmick website. It's nice to have um, this bookmarked and to take a look at it because you have resources, community, you can report an issue if there's a tool that isn't working properly, um, such as one of them, one of the watermarks I was playing with, um, you can place a bug there uh, or just simply ask for help. Um, I think this is a really good resource for seeing what's going on with the gimmick tool. And there's a ton of stuff that they're working on, tons of crazy filters, and you can see the whole team here. That's pretty awesome. There's just so much on here. It's like a whole new software, basically. So we have different, oh, whoa. Didn't mean to click this one, but that's pretty psychedelic. It looks like you put your custom code in these. Uh, I have no idea about coding with this stuff. Like I can understand code. I just don't really make it. So I'm guessing uh, for each edge, you're changing the color and deformity of it and you can blend it to three. So if I were to change this to 10, I'm guessing I'd get more waves. Update. No, well, I guess I kind of did. Let me see. Oh, blend edges. So it's blending the edges here. So if I deform the edges, let's try and change this to 50 if I could figure out how to type. There we go. Okay. So if you wanted to play with this, deform is going to increase the deformity. 10 is going to blend the edges some more. I'm actually going to put this down to zero just so I can see. Probably should have put single. Yeah. Interesting. So if you want to pretend like you can, you know code, you can always uh, <laughs> play with these. I am not a coder by any means. I just understand enough to get by. So these are pretty interesting. So you can save your selected layer as a raw RGB file. Raw files are pretty big, so if you wanted to play with this, just keep in mind it might take a while and raw files are just big to begin with. Games and demos. Interesting. It's 
So I can basically bring in some classic game screenshots. Is that what's happening? This is pretty neat. Oh, you can use it for demos. Okay, that makes sense. View under size. Very cool. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, this really is just a just a random variety of stuff. This looks like uh, method. When I was looking at this, I'm like, I don't think I am very clear on on this, but it looks like it's outputting an HTML file. Um. So yeah, that's interesting as well. <laughs> so just various random things it looks like, uh, but. Again, I would play with it just to see what it has. I don't know who the- oh, sample image. These are some interesting things. <laughs> so I wonder if this actually works with the maze up in here somewhere. I don't remember what category it was under. Um, but there is quite a bit of- oh, it generates a random- oh, look at that. Okay, so there's actually a list. I don't know why I didn't click this earlier. So if you want to test out any of these filters, you can actually find a sample image to make and mess with it. That's actually pretty nice because um, I, sometimes it, I probably should have looked at that earlier, but <laughs> if you're t just wanting to test something out, you don't have anything that you want to like bring in automatically or you're not too sure, you can just generate something already. That's pretty nice. So let's see. I'm guessing I can zoom in with this and height. Choosing zero means automatic. So I'm guessing it just changes the overall size. So 10, 20, 1024 by 1024 looks to be the max. Um, I don't know if that's just a limitation. I personally don't think you need anything bigger than that to do testing for what some of these can do or for what most of them can do. However, as we discovered a bug with one of the filters, uh, the one of the watermark filters, this might be something they could change in the future to make sure that uh, when someone goes to use the filter that they like on a much larger image, it still translates as it should. You know, obviously there might be some tweaking to the settings they might need to do because obviously if you have a bigger image, you have more pixel information, you have way more going on, so you may need to tweak that filter settings from what you used to test but um, this, that's pretty nice to, to, it's a baseline to start from. It's just still strange to me. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. I don't know, 3D waves, that's crazy. All right, well, that's pretty much it for the gimmick filter and Krita. Very intense, like not intense, but very vast and what you can and cannot do. I like this custom code thing. I have no idea what I would use it for, but this is just neat. Um, just, I would just recommend go playing with these filters in the bottom just to see what you can get out of them, uh, just for fun. I, you know, why not? This is just a crazy, crazy, it's like almost like a whole other program within Krita. Uh, overall, I was pretty impressed with the gimmick filter tool. I was putting it off for a very long time because it was so much and I wasn't too sure how I could approach sharing it and using it myself. But uh, after going through everything, I already have ideas of how to use some of these filters. Um, I've already used them just for kind of like brainstorming color schemes, just kind of kickstarting the creative brain, you know? Like, if you're stuck, it's always nice to see something really weird and then you start thinking about how you could use it, how to apply it to something, and uh, yeah. Even if he doesn't, don't actually use that filter anymore, the fact that it helped me think differently is definitely helpful. All right, thank you guys for sticking with me for this whole series. Like I said, there may be a couple additional videos coming out for more in-depth um, information and how to use something within the, the gimmick filter coming out in the next few weeks. If you have any questions about anything that you saw within this series or that I haven't gone over yet or want me to explore more about, definitely let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to accommodate for that. Um, no guarantees. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next creative tutorial or video even. 
and I will see you in the next one.